Hey, so welcome back, and this is another Leak Code problem. So today it's called minimum absolute difference, and it's kind of the easier version of this minimum average difference, because this one's a medium problem, this one's an easy problem. And so let's go ahead and implement it. So basically you're just given an array here, and you want to output uh, an array of pairs that will all have the same absolute difference, but they all must be the minimum absolute difference. And so basically what that is, is just you want to grab two numbers, any numbers in here, and you want to take the difference of it, so you just subtract them, and then you wrap it in an absolute function, and that just gets your outputs. So what that kind of looks like in practice, is say if you grab four and two, take the difference, and then wrap it in an absolute, that's going to output you a, a two here. And so essentially, the smallest number in this case is actually one, because you could do four and three and wrap it in absolute, and that would give you one. And so you just want to output all the possible combinations of pairs that would produce you this minimum absolute difference. Okay, and so to do that, it came pretty intuitively where the first thing that you're going to want to do is just sort the array, because naturally you're only going to want to compare the numbers that are kind of similar in uh, size because you don't really care about comparing one and four if you have two, because obviously this is gonna have a smaller difference than these two here. Okay, so when you sort it, you only have to actually compare the, the current number that you're looking at and whatever kind of came before it or after it. And so what you can do really is just have like a, a window size of two and just si slide this window kind of across this array so that you're only comparing kind of each two pairs one at a time. Um, and then you just calculate what that minimum absolute di or what that absolute difference between those two pairs are. Okay, so while you're doing that, you just keep track of, okay, what's the current uh, minimum absolute difference? And so if you find another pair that has that current uh, minimum absolute difference, you add it to your result set. But if you find a new minimum, then you just kind of delete that result set and start a new one and just kind of continue adding to it. Okay, so if that doesn't quite make sense, um, I think writing the code is uh, pretty self-explanatory. You can really understand the core logic just by reading it. So what we're gonna do is return some result and that's gonna be an array. And we're gonna be keeping track of what the current minimum difference is. And so initially, let's just set it to infinity to make sure it gets set. And so with that, we're just going to want to iterate through all these different values from one to the end of the array. And we're starting at one because we always want to look at the current node and the one that came before it. So it's that sli sliding window of size two. And so what the current minimum difference or the current difference is just going to be the absolute of the current number at i and we just subtract whatever came before it. Great, and so essentially we just wanna go down two paths. One of them is, okay, if the current minimum is greater than the kind of current absolute um, difference here, and I said nums, but I meant uh, array actually then we just found a new minimum. So let's go ahead and just set that new minimum difference to the current. And what this also means is that the result set that we were producing for this current minimum difference uh, can be just kind of deleted. and We want to start a new one. And so then we just want to reset this result set equal to just the current pair that we just have. And so that's going to be number at I and then also the one that came before it at I minus one. Great, and so that way we're just kind of starting a fresh result set of just the current value and the one that came before it. Otherwise, the only other case that we have to consider is if this minimum difference is the same as the current uh, absolute difference. And so what that's gonna be is okay, in that case, we just want to say OK. Then we're going to just append this result set to our array here.
And so that's just because, well, okay, this current minimum is still the minimum. We just found another instance to produce that. So let's go ahead and run it. Oh, um, oh, just looks like I forgot to sort it at the beginning. Looks good. And success. So that's uh, another leak code problem. So essentially, it's uh, a time complexity of n log n, and that's the amount of time to sort the array. That's the bottleneck here. Otherwise, this for loop is just O of n time. And so then the space complexity is just going to be uh, O of n, and that's just to produce our result set. Sometimes I like to think of it as O of 1 because you need to return something, but really, uh, you should say that the space complexity is O of n. But yeah, hope it helped, and um, good luck with the rest of your algorithms. Thanks for watching.